Is there any truth in these phantom big cat sightings in the UK? There's thousands of reports every single year, so it's hard not to believe there's no truth in the matter. Only a small percentage of reports go to the government, so it's actually really hard to determine how many sightings there are. But loads get reported to the British Big Cat Society, thousands and thousands every single year. And these sightings have been going on for decades. Hello everyone, welcome to Animal Educate. My name's Abby, and today we're going to be looking at the phantom big cat of Britain. As usual, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you can stay up to date with future episodes and like this video at the end if you enjoy it. Most people say the creature's black or sandy colored and they're about the same size as a domestic dog or a little larger. There's no conclusive evidence to suggest that big black cats have ever roamed the UK since the native leopards died out about 24,000 years ago. The UK only has one native species of cat and that's the Scottish wildcat which lives exclusively in the Scottish Highlands and it's about the same size as a domestic cat. The sightings in the UK date back to at least 1825 William Cobbett, a famous journalist and farmer, saw a large grey cat in the grounds of an abbey in southern England. Then in the mid-20th century, a woman walking her dog in Surrey reported seeing a puma-like creature. These sightings then became frequent in southern England, and in the 1960s there were many reports of large cat-like creatures in and around Surrey. In the 1970s and 80s, there was lots of sightings of a large black cat around Exmoor. This became known as the Beast of Exmoor. The military were even called into action in 1983, but they failed to find anything. In the 1990s, there were many sightings at Bodmin Moor and Cornwall. So again, the government called action in to investigators, which failed to find anything. This became known as the Beast of Bodmin. Southern England has become a bit of a hotspot for these big cat sightings. Although there are sightings across the whole country, Northern England, Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, but mainly in Southern England. There's many experts that don't believe we have a breeding population of non-native felines here in Britain. They believe that there's lots of misidentification or these phantom cats could be big cats that have escaped from captivity or they've been released. It's said that when the Dangerous Wild Animal Act came in in 1976, lots of these big cats were released. Scrapyards used to use pumas as guard animals, so many people believed that these puma-like creatures, these big cats, were just released into the wild. Since 1975, DEFRA has received many reports from zoos and private collections that big cats have escaped and not all were recaptured. Some people think these animals could be panthers or cougars. Cougars are sandy coloured, which matches the colour description of a lot of the sightings. Recent scientific studies are also adding weight that these big cats do exist here in the UK. In 2007, Ros Cord, a researcher at the University of Wales published a study that large cats could be hunting sheep in Wales. Andrew Hemmings is a lecturer at the Royal Agricultural University in Gloucester. He found tooth imprints in carcasses of three animals which matched the shape of the teeth of a large cat. There's been a spate of big cat sightings in Cornwall recently. A lynx has apparently been photographed in a field in Coombe near St. Hostel. Rhoda Watkins has recently investigated this. She's got over 20 years experience tracking big cats. She's found partial tracks, part of a dead bird, and some scats. She's been investigating the phantom cat of Britain for many years, and she claims to have seen many undisturbed carcasses that has definite big cat predation. She believes that Britain has a decent sized cat population and their breeding. She's seen scat, footprints, 
She's been shown footage from trail cameras. She's examined kills from sheep, lamb and deer. She's also spoken to many credible witnesses, people that really know what they're looking at and there's no way they could make a mistake. The Phantom Cat of Britain can easily be dismissed for misidentification, for a larger dog or even just a domestic cat, for images or video even that's been photoshopped, been edited in some way, and also animals that have escaped from zoos. Is this Phantom Cat of Britain a myth or does it truly exist here? Do you think that road is right? That we have enough evidence now to prove that we do indeed have a booming big cat population breeding here in the UK? Thanks for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed the episode about the Phantom Big Cat of Britain. Once again, any questions, any comments at all, please do comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time. Are you a phantom cat of Britain? Are you the phantom cat of Britain? Please just tell me. <laughs>